Our reporter Joe Caution is at New Scotland Yard. Joe, what was said in the hearing? Well, Geraint, the Meta said that opportunities to remove PC Carrick from policing were missed due to weak decisions and weak policies. Even his so-called accelerated misconduct hearing took over an hour and a half to officially sack him. Women and girls across the country, in particular his victims, say that's come 18 years too late. These are some of the crimes those that are paid to protect us have been accused of. How many active investigations are there against Essex police employees right We've now? We've got lots, lots of investigations going on. I don't know off the top of my head here. Really? The number. I really, I really don't know. What the Chief Constable of Essex Police doesn't know how many officers I, and staff I know. are under investigation. I've right got now. Yeah, exact number, about 130 different conduct or misconduct investigations underway. It's been one of the most traumatic trials I think I've covered, Stacey. It's brought tears from all four corners of Court 7 here at Maystone Crown Court over the last nine weeks, hearing that exhaustive and torturous list of Alfie's 70 injuries. Leaving a fast food restaurant this morning, former Labour MP Paul Clark, seen here in a red tie, offered no apology as he headed to Maystone Crown Court. Are you ashamed of what you've done? Would you like to apologise for what you've done, Mr Clark? His next meal will be in a prison cell as he was served 28 months behind bars for sharing and storing more than a thousand indecent images and videos of children. Children as young as three. They tell me, families, that the Kirkup Review, which found 45 babies died unnecessarily, should have been the watershed moment. It should have been the catalyst for change among all staff working in maternity here. If that wasn't it, if this inspection report isn't it, what on earth will be? SEM provision is a highly controversial topic in Kent and while Her Royal Highness has been able to see the life-changing impact Portage is having on families here, many parents hope that her visit will highlight the importance of properly funding these services for years to come. It's hard to remember the last time we had a huge downpour here in the southeast, and the statistics show just how dry it has been. The average July rainfall is 53 millimetres. But last month we had just five, the driest since records began in 1936. People are still coming here to see it and the original freezer left by the artist himself is now at a secret location. Tonight we can reveal exclusively where the most famous graffiti in the world is going to end up. The next time someone tells you to stop kicking a ball around the house, mention Bill. This is his hallway, otherwise known as the firing line. Fortunately, He's not shooting at the moment, so I can take you through to the kitchen to show you the target. Most shooting ranges have a backstop to suppress any stray pellets. Bill, well, he has his conservatory windows. You can tell he's a good shot because, well, they're not broken. But what also gives it away are the medals on his fridge. Bike polo does take a little bit of getting used to. You can only hold the bike with your left hand and you have to have the mallet in your right hand at all times. And if you're a bit like me and you're not very good at multitasking, then it might take a little bit of getting used to because it's a bit of balance, speed and precision. And if it all comes together at once, you get something like this. Now it's got to work out how to stop. What do the new boss have to say to you today? <laughs> well, it's not just what he had to say, Matt. It's also what he's been doing. As you can see, I'm by a very dark Priestfield pitch. That's because everybody, including the groundsman, has gone home. There's one light still on just behind the camera. It's the manager's office. Stephen Clement's still here. First in the building, last one out. It's his first managerial post, but he's excited to take the reins of Gillingham. We've been having a go at putting Sam's top tips of how to carve a pumpkin into practice. I can, actually, I can't take credit for it, but the team have done a wonderful job. These two look quite familiar, don't you think, Matt, Sangeeta? <laughs> we will, of course, uh, keep watching developments with interest. For now, Joe, also a man who's the first one there and the last one to leave. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>